Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So I hope you guys are all hanging in there right now because Bitcoin is dropping even more today, right? We saw yesterday Bitcoin was in fact dropping, not even just yesterday, but you know, a couple of days ago, we saw Bitcoin break support, right? And I told you guys, okay, I made a video, right? Titled massive crash coming for Bitcoin and crypto. Okay. And I pretty much uploaded that video a day ago, right? One day ago. And here we are, right? And Bitcoin is dropping even more. Okay. Because in that video, we did in fact see Bitcoin um, break support, right? We saw Bitcoin break support around right here. Okay. So it did in fact break the support level and it did in fact drop. And I told you guys in that video that potentially Bitcoin could, you know, drop further down. Okay. And of course we saw what happened, you know, yesterday, right? With Bitcoin and of course other old coins it was in fact dropping but today guys it's dropping even more today okay so we saw yesterday what happened some major news didn't in fact have um you know happened yesterday if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video the one that i uploaded you know almost you know 23 hours ago um you guys should definitely check it out but obviously we know that silver gate okay the crypto bank has pretty much collapsed okay they shut their doors so Silvergate is pretty much done and that's obviously causing Bitcoin to have a drop. Okay, that's why Bitcoin was in fact dropping yesterday in the Thai crypto market. And obviously there's a lot of, you know, heavy selling right now. Okay, people are in fact selling off, you know, Bitcoin and crypto and whatnot. Uh, but of course, guys, okay, the true investors, the ones that aren't here, you know, for long term, we are here for long term, right? We have diamond hands. Okay, including myself, of course, right? I'm a true investor, guys. I am not um, bearish in any way, okay? You know, days like this, it happens, right? But you guys have to understand, I am here for long term. And that's why I always tell you guys to remain calm. When days like this happen, you just have to remain calm and think long term, right? Buy more, okay? And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today, right? I'm going to be buying more Bitcoin, potentially, right? But yeah, Bitcoin right now, guys, is in fact back down at $20,000. Okay, you guys can clearly see that. So it's back down at $20,000. So this could be a support level right now for Bitcoin. Okay, at $20,000. Potentially, maybe it could go further down, you know, even lower. This right here, guys, is no longer the support level. Obviously, it's been like that for a couple of days now. But um, you guys can clearly see that, you know, Bitcoin could potentially go lower than $20,000, 100%. Potentially in the next few hours or so, we could see Bitcoin drop further down to 20K. Okay, but as of right now, this could be Bitcoin's, um, you know, new support level right here, okay, of $20,000, potentially, right? But I reckon Bitcoin's going to drop further down, potentially. Okay, I really do. Um, everything is, not everything, but majority of altcoins are in fact in the reds today. Okay, everything is dropping um, today quite decently actually you also see the global market cap now is at uh 943.87 um, billion okay it's no longer in the trillion um and it's down 5.9 percent uh, today right almost six percent so that's crazy right there um and you also see bitcoin is down uh 6.4 percent right ethereum is down 6.8 percent almost seven percent for the past 24 hours you also see bnb is down 3.8 percent uh, XRP down 3.4%, Cardano uh, pretty much the same, down 3.2%, Polygon is down 4.2%, Dogecoin is down 7.7%, uh, Solana is down 6%, Polkadot down uh, 4%, Shiba Inu today down 7.3%, uh, Litecoin down 7.4%, okay, Avalanche down 5.2%, Uniswap down 6.4%, Chainlink down 7%, so you guys can clearly see um, a lot of old coins in the market today for the past 24 hours is in fact in the reds. Okay. And we are in fact seeing a pretty decent drop today. Okay. It's dropping even more today. Um, so I still remain bullish guys, right? Like I told you guys this many times, I am here for long term. I'm not here for short term. So I don't care what the market is doing, you know, short term. I only care what it's doing long term guys. And that's why I am in fact, you know, dollar cost averaging. Okay. And I'm just thinking long term, right? Every week, I invest into Bitcoin and of course, cryptocurrency in general, right? But I still remain bullish and I hope you guys are hanging in there still. And um, you guys have to understand that, you know, the future, okay, is going to be bright. 
okay, long term. It's coming, guys, right? But of course, short term, as of right now, we're still in a bear market. You guys have to understand that, right? So just be patient, guys. And we're gonna we're obviously going to get days like this, okay? But just know, guys, it's dropping, okay? And I've been telling you guys that we are, in fact, in the accumulation stage right now. And I really do believe that right now everyone should be buying, accumulating, investing, and, of course, at least dollar cost averaging. So right now, since everything is dropping bitcoin is dropping and a lot of old coins okay even more today it's dropping buy more right today i think it's a great buying opportunity right now to get into bitcoin at this price of twenty thousand dollars and of course these other old coins right so i want to show you guys a few charts okay and yes right um what happened okay back in uh November, right? We remember pretty much $15,000 was in fact Bitcoin's bottom. Okay. It pretty much was. Um, and then we saw Bitcoin, you know, break out, right? We saw brick, um, Bitcoin break out in January. Okay. Had, we had a 40% uh, return, right? So, you know, Bitcoin at $20,000 could be the support level. Okay. The new support level potentially, right? If we see Bitcoin drop further down to 20K, <laughs> then, you know, Potentially, Bitcoin's going to drop further down, right? That's that's just my, sorry, that's just my personal opinion, okay? But um, as of right now, you know, I think Bitcoin, okay, it's going to drop further down, in my opinion. I think Bitcoin's going to drop to $19,000 to $18,000, potentially, even back down all the way to, uh, you know, fifteen dollars to $16,000 where it was a couple months ago, back in November and December, right, last year there's potential here for bitcoin to go back down to this to these uh low price targets right and this during the cycle that was in fact bitcoin's bottom so if you missed the opportunity on buying bitcoin pretty much at its bottom because so far this was in fact bitcoin's bottom um then i personally would be buying some now you know you can never really time the market guys you know bitcoin has obviously dropped like look at that right it's obviously dropped significantly today so i think today is a great buying opportunity and hey if it dips even more to nineteen thousand dollars to even eighteen thousand to seventeen thousand dollars buy more right buy more guys but i would take this opportunity right now to buy some more um bitcoin or if you haven't already buy some more today but of course guys this is not financial advice okay but all i'm saying is if you missed the opportunity on buying bitcoin around here or even at twenty thousand dollars then buy some today okay that's just personally what i'll do this is not financial advice so please always do your own research guys okay but i want to show you guys another chart okay so yes bitcoin 20k support right here um that's why i drew this line right here guys so this could be the new you know support level potentially right we will see um so if bitcoin breaks okay um the 20k support then like it says potentially it's, it's going to go further down right but we're going to see okay time will tell okay but i think it's going to drop further down guys okay that's just my own personal opinion right there's a lot of fud going around okay around the crypto space okay a lot of negative things in fact happen especially yesterday with you know silvergate collapsing okay and pretty much shutting their doors so silvergate is done and it's this is obviously causing the crypto market to have a drop because you know there's obviously a lot of heavy selling and there's a lot of um i feel like we're, we're back to fear right in fear mode now a lot of people are in fact fearful for bitcoin and crypto right now um and that's that's what i want to show you guys this right the fan greed index it's been quite some time since i gave you guys an update on the fan greed index so as you see for the first time in a while for the first time in a while today the fan greed index is currently at 44 so it's dropped a lot because yesterday we were in fact at like 50 okay and, and guess what look at that we are now back in fear mode okay the free and greed index right now is in fact indicating that we are in fact in fear mode right now okay so obviously this has dropped you guys can clearly see that yes yesterday we were in fact at 50 now we're at 44 um so you have to see we are back in fear yesterday we were in neutral last week we were in neutral last month we were in fact in neutral you guys have to understand that every time the free and greed index touches 55 that's pretty much when we are in fact in greed mode right but if it's below 55 okay we're either in neutral or fear or extreme fear and right now we are in fact in fear mode okay and like i said it's been 
you know, quite some time since we've seen it at fear mode. Okay, I feel like ever since we we um you know saw Bitcoin pump massively back in uh, January this year. Okay, um you know we had a forty percent return just in one month. Okay, in January, and that was the first time that we saw Bitcoin in greed mode. Right? Who remembers when we were in fact in greed mode? Right? Um, and then now for the first time, right in a couple months, like two months, we're back in fear mode, guys. So I still remain bullish, obviously. Okay, like I said many times, while others are fearful, we got to be greedy, right? And while others are greedy, we got to be fearful. It's the complete opposite, guys, right? It's just how a human brain, you know, operates. Okay, a lot of people, right, like to, you know, invest into an asset or the market when everything is pumping, when it's in the greens, right? A lot of people don't like to buy when it's dipping, okay? For some odd reason, it just it still boggles with my mind to this day, right? It really does. So we're gonna see what happens with Bitcoin, guys. Okay, we're gonna see what happens with Bitcoin um, in the next few days. But yes, right now, okay, it's currently at twenty thousand dollars, twenty point five thousand dollars to be exact. And if Bitcoin, okay, if we do in fact see Bitcoin break below, you know, this support level, okay, potentially this could be Bitcoin's support level right here, okay. Um, then you know, if it breaks below 20k, then we could potentially see Bitcoin, you know, drop further down to the downside. Okay, we could see a drop to, you know, eighteen thousand dollars to seventeen thousand dollars to even back down to this um, prices back here where we were, you know, um, a couple months ago, right back in November and uh, December, right, and obviously, um, I think that's a possibility here. Okay, personally, I think we're going to drop further down 100%. So we're going to see, guys. Okay, we're going to see what happens with Bitcoin um, in the next few hours. And of course, in the next few days, I will obviously keep you guys updated. But everything right now is dropping. And I think right now is the best time to buy more. Okay, to buy more into Bitcoin and of course, crypto, right? Because everything is in fact dropping. Like I said, you can never really time the market. So if I were you guys, I would buy a little bit today, right? I would personally, okay? But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments down below, okay? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys buying more today or are you guys just gonna, you know, time the market and patiently wait for Bitcoin to drop further down, right? Let me know in the comments down below personally. I'm gonna be buying more today, okay? because I don't want to miss buying Bitcoin at 20K, okay? So I'm going to be buying more today for sure, right? Um, but that's personally what I'm doing. Let me know in the comments down below what are you guys going to be personally doing. Are you guys going to, you know, buy more today or not? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. But on that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.